What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So I was going to do an Ultimate Masters draft. But for some reason, that actually didn't sound more appealing than Kaldheim. So now, I'm in this Kaldheim queue. I guess you could say I felt the call. Duh. Heim. I guess you could say that. Simply having a wonder. I, I cannot wait for the cube next week, yes. Um, so here's the thing. It's really hard to not sing songs like Simply Having a Wonderful Christmas Time. When we got like eight inches of snow last night, I'm looking out. This tree outside my window is just coated in snow. It's it's really pretty. Everything is super bright because of the snow everywhere. So it just really still feels like Christmas. Even though it's almost March. <laughs> it's super weird, dude. I'm not used to snow in March as a Floridian, as you can imagine. Man. Oh, I like Binding of the Old Gods a lot. I think I like it more than everything else in this pack. If Lindworm or Woodland Chasm comes back, great. But uh, I'm going to take the Binding. Ooh, Path of the World Tree? man now you're talking my language the only other card i even consider is elder fang disciple so path of the world true path is like exactly what i want to do in this format xbox you're like xbox live is down so i guess i gotta watch i gotta do something else nice super nifty ninja appreciate it my dude Thank you. Evil monkey and, and Sammy, relaxing Sam. Thank you so much for the resub, guys. Really appreciate it. 17 years in Florida with one year in is MI Minnesota? Michigan. Minnesota's MN, right? Yeah, okay. How has your back handled the shoveling? I, I, I don't do that. I don't. We just haven't shoveled. Like, <laughs> me and Michael both work from home, so like we're not leaving that much. Um, it's sad though because today I actually went outside and I looked at my neighbors' uh, driveways and walkways, and they were pristine. Like, you could see everything. It was outlined beautifully. You could see everything. Ice tunnels, the obvious pick of her path and binding. <sighs> I do like a glittering frost. Probably more than snow covered forest. This fixes for two. I mean, I guess it fixes for one. Yeah, I'll take glittering frost here. Anyway, I looked outside. Their driveways and stuff were pristine, and I'm like, how? So you make it? No, Katie doesn't shovel here. None of us shovel. I'm definitely not making Katie shovel, no. We just don't have to. Like, we walk in the snow a little bit, she gets in her car, and she goes to work. That's the end. You know? Like, it's not... Um... I'm going to take Priest here and try not to... I know there's a snow-covered mountain in that pack. Now I'm going to take Sulphurous Mine. Meyer, which is significantly better, I would say. Man, think if we get some some spirit of the elder guards or whatever they're called. Thank you. I mean, I feel like the path to the car gets cleared pretty naturally just by walking through it. Like, we're just walking in a little bit of snow. Like, it's 10 feet, you know? It's not a huge deal is the thing. So, like, we walk up to... 
Um, walk up to the, oh yeah, snow covered island for sure, dude. Love it. Um, so we're walking up to the car. She gets in. She leaves. That's it. Like it's not. Oh, for the car to get out of the road. I don't know. Maybe she shoveled it this morning when she went to work. I have no idea, actually. She may have just cleared the the, the like behind her car, but. Oh, sinkhole. We're just going to be five color snow again, aren't we? I really like this archetype. I think it's really, really fun. Non-white snow deck. Thoughts? Well, snowfield sinkhole. And we have path, which kind of requires white. But getting three dual lands is pretty nice. Not going to, not going to lie. Oh, another priest came back? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Snow-covered plains. I never want the plains because, like, our mana base is so stretched. But we can get it with World Tree. Like, whatever. Um, yeah, this guy's actually fine. Maybe we're just like, maybe white is one of our primary colors, even though it's not a snow color. Do you think releasing a snow set in winter was planned or on accident? I don't know if it was like intentional. Like they're like, "Hey, this is let's make sure call time comes out during the the winter." But then again, like there's only like, like three standard sets that come out a year, so it's like hey, there's a thirty three percent chance that it just happens to be on a winter. Stick with what you snow. Oh man, it's times like this. I'm like, I wish super friends was at work. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I actually really enjoy that you're off on Thursdays and Fridays because we get to hang out more. We have a good time. Can't wait for a hot hot. <laughs> Have you won your game yet? No, I'm still still playing, Dad. Still playing. Uh, black. I'll take village rights. Both of these are going to draw two, but this one's cheaper. And uh... three six three seven six mana six mana. Okay, the end of that pack wasn't great, but we did get five Snowlands. That's pretty cool. I do. I do love it. I think getting our biggest snow in about three years during the pre-release weekend was kind of sweet. Got to feel snowed in instead of virused in. Well, <laughs> you know, if you got to choose the lesser evil there, I guess. Simply having super snowy times. Oh, wow. That's actually... Ooh. <coughs> I like a showdown of the scalds a lot. Oh, I like that. Let's take that. That's a solid one. I really just want to open a coma. I don't know why it's so hard to do, but... Oh, Narfi? And a, and a Behold the Multiverse? And an Arctic Tree Line. I mean, I feel like I should... It's, it's worth noting that. And a Replicating Ring. Ring might come back. I doubt it. This pack's not super deep. Frost Peak Yeti might come back, though. I kind of like Tree Line here because it does help cast both of our gold cards so far. But there is a Narfi in the pack. Which is just very good in the snow deck. I'm going to take the Narfi. We could see more Beholds. Every time I play against Narfi, though, it's really, really hard to deal with.
simply having an R for the Christmas time. See, now you got like a bunch of middle of the rotors with Augur Raven, Miss Walker, and Elder Fang Disciple. Maximum Narfage. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's so good, man. I just get so proud of you sometimes. I don't think it's Elder Fang. I think it's one of the two floaty boys. Do you have anything that cares about Mistwalker's creature type? Not yet. I'm going to take Raven here. I think it's better when you're not trying to focus on um, specific card types. I'm going to... I really love Demon Bolt. I think we have to take the Shimmer Drift Veil. Vale. Right after Ixlon. Do you know why? I don't think so. All right, I'll take Demon Bolt. I, I really... It's hard to pass. And we get an Alpine Meadow, so I'm okay with that. This pack is actually worse. I mean, if any of these Bergstarters or Lindorms come back, I would be really grateful for it. We have no green lands right now. Because what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. That's actually... That's actually pretty hilarious. I literally knew you were going to post a picture of... Of Pinky from Pinky on the Brain. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Snow Cover Mountain. I like it. Especially because we have, uh, we're getting some reds here. We got one, two, three. We have seven snow lands so far. Four duels. That's pretty good. That's a Mr. Freeze joke? That just sounds like a regular joke. Look, you don't have to Mr. Freeze it up. It could just be a regular joke. Another snow-covered mountain. How many mountains do we want? I don't think we want this many. For our two red cards? This is like four red sources. It's really hard to pass, though, because we have double priest. We have Narfi. <clears throat> what do we got? We have three black sources here already. Three white sources. I feel like this is probably the most reasonable pick for our deck. Even though I don't think it's that great. <laughs> you know, from the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, I know what you're referring to. <laughs> I just don't. I don't like. Oh god. It's not really a joke though. It's just like a it's just like a thing to say. You know what I mean? Like it has no punchline. <laughs> god, please. I'll take the frost peak yeti. I like raven wings too, but this guy's got a built-in raven wings. <coughs> like it's not like in the, it's like in the sense that like because what killed the frost peak yeti? the lightning bolt and you're like yeah i mean i get that you're trying to like you're trying to make the Thanks. the answer be resp like it's it's not a joke it's just it's just a thing it's just a statement of potential fact arnold never said <laughs> god damn it chad what's going on buddy welcome back today is a rough day for me no oh man chad i'm sorry buddy that's a bummer. Well, I hope it gets less rough, my dude. That is not how you spell hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids and diarrhea are two very difficult words to spell until you until you get them. Once you once you figure out how to spell them, then you're like, okay, cool. Did you see my post? No, let me check it right now. So I can get bummed out with you. 
Oh. Cool. <sighs> That's super frustrating, dude. I mean, I would literally say on that, and like on the bright side, you have a very marketable skill. Wow, I opened two search for greatnesses in this draft. You have a very marketable skill. I, I honestly, if I were you, would not be super concerned. It sucks, obviously, um, but I, I think you're, you're definitely someone who will land on his feet for sure. <clears throat> Is there a reason you know the specific spelling of hemorrhoids? I mean, it's not a specific spelling; it's just the spelling, right? Like. <laughs> Uh, oh, I like a Cosmic Elixir here. That's nice. Another path, too. I'm going to go with the Cosmos Elixir. Oh, what up, Mossy Beard? I like Glittering Frost number two here. The Blood Sky Massacre. This is literally the name of a hardcore band from the early 2000s, just so you guys know. Not literally, but in the sense that, like, this is a hardcore band name. I'm going to take Snow-Covered Forest here. We don't have a forest yet, and I like a forest, so. I also do like Iron Verdict. I think it's a good removal spell. How many creatures do we have? 11? That's actually better than I thought. I like a Snow-Covered Swamp, too. Mm. I kind of want this Ravenous Lindworm, though. No, I'm going to take the Snow-Covered Swamp. I think we can get a Lindworm. We can get one Lindworm in here. I guarantee it. I'm like the men's warehouse guy. I don't like having two red cards, but then having like one, two, three, four, five red sources. Ugh. I do like Mirror Lake. The only other option is Valkyrie Sword, which I don't think is terrible. One, two, even though we have three white sources here. Linda? I don't even know who Linda is. Is that a reference to a card? Are you talking about Lindworm? Oh, okay. Got it. You kids and your slang. My dad and I were joking about maybe starting our own board game table business. Oh, that's... I would, dude, I would absolutely love to do something like that. <clears throat> My goal is when Katie finishes her residency and then we can actually start making real income that I can start woodworking as like a side project. Um, how many playables do we have right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 19? Snow-covered swamp. <clears throat> oh, feed the serpent? Wow. Actually, tundra femoral? Double black or double red? I'm gonna actually take the femoral here. It seems better because of the, the amount of snow mana we have. Like, we can actually net three mana from this and, like, play Cosmos Elixir on the same turn. <laughs> oh, the old shrug mail symbol. A classic. <clears throat> um, do I want to... Th oh, we actually, we only have one Snow-Covered Plains. This has got to be better than any of these other cards in this pack, right? I guess we can take Disdainful Stroke. Which I would play. I would play a Disdainful Stroke. I bet we can get one more Snowland before the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 21. We need two playables. And I could play Gladewalker and, and the other Hailstorm Valkyrie. You're like a two drop. You're like a two drop. You're a two drop. This actually looks pretty decent. And I I, I was comfortable taking the, the, the Tundra Fumeral because of all the red sources we have. We already have four red sources here, plus Glittering Frost and Path can get us a red source. <coughs> Hey, look, a snow-covered swamp. Number three. Or an iron verdict. I'm going to take the iron verdict. <clears throat> I, 
I think Iron Verdict is actually pretty solid removal. Like, five damage kills most anything except for Ravenous Lindworm in this format. Like, that's good enough for me. Okay, I lied about the second. The the Snowland. I mean, we found a, a Swamp, I guess, but I didn't really want a third Swamp, so. We also do have one of every basic land for our path. <clears throat> I mean, I'm liking this set more than most recent sets. I, I feel like I've done more drafts of this set than I have in a long time of basic, of like basic format sets. A woodworking channel, nice. Let's do it. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm in my 60, 60 gems, my dude. <clears throat> All right, well, this is 40 cards exactly, which I you love to see it, as they say. Um, is Death and a Berserker better than Guardian Gladewalker? I don't think so. How many creatures is this? Let's find out. 12? I do kind of want another creature, but... <clears throat> like, we are more of a control deck, so... Got a lot of removal, right? Priest, Priest, Demon Bolt, Tundra, Binding. That's pretty good. Oh, Double Iron Verdict. That's like seven. <coughs> Lathe and Bathe. Wow. <laughs> Spencer, I feel like you missed your calling, buddy. Oh, also Valkyrie Sword is a creature, so closer to 13. That seems good. Plus, Narfi keeps coming back. Death Knell Berserker is literally just a 2 2. Guardian Gladewalker has to be just better than Berserker. We have no way to pump it other than, like, showdown at the Scalds. Um, is that the best we can do? I don't think I want a second Hailstorm Valkyrie. They proved in the last draft that having multiples is just a little too mana intensive. Okay, so. White sources, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, blue sources, we have one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Black sources, we have one, two, three, four, five. Or maybe it's not actually too bad. One, two, four, red. I think red is one of our... Oh, red's actually three. <laughs> we literally have like one, two, three, four red. Okay. And green we have one, two, three, four. Oh, boy. Man, five colors is rough, dude. <clears throat> well, what can you do? I definitely want to... I feel like I want one more green. One, two, three, four, five, four. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five. Black, we are the only one we have five of. And we have the most black, so you know what? <clears throat> we'll keep it like this. I feel like our man is a little more stretched this time than it was last time, but. Oh, those are snow covered. So oh, no! Um, basics, we need just green now. And we can turn this off, put that back. Alright, let's see if this does anything. I don't know if it will. Wonderful Christmas time. Simply 
Have own little Christmas time. I'll play first. Um, <clears throat> it's 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 interesting. Yeah, Jasper Sentinel is definitely a card I could I would consider. Um, I think my only reservation is a that we need a green source on turn one for it to be any good. And we also need a second creature for it to be any good. Getting a black there was nice. Mm, that guy's frustrating. Okay, can we do anything here? No. Okie dokie. Are they just going to attack make a guy? That's rough. I don't like that. I would, 100%. <clears throat> it's a free dude. That's interesting. Oh, good. <clears throat> oh, good. I would have made. I would have definitely made a free two one there. <clears throat> Okay. Blue source. Okay. Narfarino. Cool. Well, we're probably dead here. blue source and that's the end all right that was a good game i had a good time <clears throat> my mana base was my my downfall unfortunately as we kind of saw how i mean we predicted it so what can you do i think we're gonna play the jasper sentinel Got disdainful stroke here. Uh, I mean, Gladewalker is fine. I mean, like, they're literally playing an aggressive deck. I don't want to really take out one of my few two drops that can actually block their guys. <clears throat> um. Yeah, any green here is really good for us. So, this also has three of our four colors, so. Simply having a wonderful dream. What a feature. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, they went to five? All right. Come on, green source. Daddy needs a spicy green boy. Got four in the deck, so we got a what? One in uh, one in eight chance. This is how it's gonna be. Oh boy. I mean, we have other colored cards in our deck, and we can cast literally everything that's not green. So. God, are you serious? This is wild, dude. This is insane. Draw four green cards. Draw no no green lands. Okay, well. I mean, I'll admit that our mana base is, is very specific. And, oh look, they hit a two drop rare. Fucking, oh, this is amazing. It's a nice mull to five. <laughs> oh, God. That's fantastic. 
So they just get to play a land and activate this? Sure. Oh, no. I guess they don't get to activate it next turn. We're one man away from this guy, huh? Okie dokie. I mean, I, like I said, I was gonna, I'll was i be the first to acknowledge that my mana base is... Um, it's rough, but also, you know, if we draw literally zero non-green cards, it's not going to be any better here, so... Yep, go to three. Like, there's nothing we can draw here. This is an amazing mold of five. Yeah, cool. Fucking amazing. Okay, let's try again, I guess. <sighs> My problem with cutting two red sources is solely that uh, two of the red sources would be um, snow covered. I mean, you might you might be right. I'm I'm definitely not saying it's it's incorrect for for sure. I also do kind of feel like five colors is kind of pushing it, whereas four colors is where you want to be in this archetype. I feel like I, I have really good luck with four color decks, but then once you hit five, it's like you're taking away like three mana sources from like cards that you're. You know, that you're more likely, more easily able to play. If that makes sense. <sighs> but see, then you don't hit a third land at all, and you're like, oh, cool. That's <laughs> good times. Oh, boy. Yeah, we can reevaluate after this game. Hey, a white source. Look at that. <clears throat> Good times. course comes into play tapped of course it does i mean i think it's just more important to play iron verdict here kill the draugr and then next turn we can binding the sarulf Come and go. There's so Thank much you. snow. Oh, the squirrel nest. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Goodbye, you stupid fox. 
Yeah, it's a wolf, not a fox. Ugh, get your canines correct. Is a fox a canine? I'm gonna look it up right now. Fox canine. Oh, they include foxes, wolves, jackals, and other members of the dog family. I mean, I'm just going to place the Rolf's pack mate here. Because I want to hit another land and put it in place, so. What's up, F you? Wow. <laughs> Seems good. Yeah, we milled Forest Forest Island, apparently, so that's rough. I mean, thankfully we had one more forest, but... Man, I wish they used this instead of this, and then we could actually play the Narfi. That's kind of sad. <sighs> I mean, the white doesn't really matter being tapped. We have no white cards we would have played here. We literally have two black cards in our hand, and it used the black instead of the green. We have literally no green cards whatsoever. So that's kind of an amazing feat of programming. Yeah, they have Vigilance. We're not going to be able to Iron Verdict them. Even if they didn't, like, we could Iron Verdict them on our turn after taking four, which is... Yep. That was pretty stupid. It's okay, guys. We're only taking eight here. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, I actually feel like we were making a decent recovery here up until the point where they were like, Starnheim Unleashed. And I was like, okay. That'll do it. All right. Good times. Everything is all right. Like, see, the only like the thing is, if we take out Fumeral, we take out two red sources. Like, I don't want to take out dual lands because then it's just free red sources. So then we're taking out double mountain. I do just kind of like Sentinel, to be quite honest. Wow, Starnheim Unleashed is so bananas. I mean, Spoils is fine, but we have Showdown of the Scalds, which I think is just a better version of that. Oh boy, Disdainful Stroke could be good here. I'm going to bring this guy in again. Let's take... I, mm, yeah, let's take that out. We'll take out one mountain. We'll add one plains. No, not one plains, one forest. 
My bad. Nice. Oh, with no two drop? Sure, I'm fine playing that. Well, every color, guys. We hit every color. Let's see if this can uh, translate into a victory here. What are they? They're playing like a big four color deck as well with like Dusk Wielder? That's weird to me. parting my hair today. I feel like a fucking disheveled mess over here. <sighs> you know what? I'll just take two. I mean, if they had, like, Sir Rolf, they would have just played it first because then they can get counters on it when my guy dies. What is the point of Time Spiral? I mean, what's the point of any magic set? I mean, to be cool? I mean, I'm actually loving the new borders. Like, the new border Path to Exile, the new border Chalice of the Void. Those are pretty sweet. Okie dokie, artichoke. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just play right here. Narfarino. Fine, thank you for the content, right? <laughs> I'll draw, no problem, buddy. I'm just a fan of like alternate art stuff. Like I think the, the big, there's a big problem with magic right now where like if if magic produces too much stuff, people get upset. And I definitely get how there's definitely like product fatigue where like, oh my God, there's too much stuff coming out. There's too many things. Like I have to figure out what to care about, what not to care about. Do I need this? Do I not need this? But at the end of the day, it's like, this is kind of cool. And like, if I want a few cards, I'll pick them up. Hold on a second. I think I gotta do a thing. Well, there goes my whole hand. I think UPS is here. I gotta go give him the package. Don't go anywhere.
Just coming through, I guess. What was the other card I had to discard? Two lands. Okay. I'll be back. I'm still dealing with this thing. Okay, I'm going to concede the game soon, I bet. Okie dokie. Wow, this was this is why I hate <laughs> MTG Arena versus Magic Online. All right. Well, we did it. Ugh, just had to help <laughs> load an 88-pound package. Well, to get it out and give it to the guy and put it on the dolly and whatnot. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I like that. I feel like that's better than Showdown here. Maybe. No, I'm showdowning. The reason is we can play lands immediately right now. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, Jesus. <laughs> Dead. Oh, God. Yeah, this is fine. They can block with 4-4, block Narfi. All of this is fine. They can double block here. I'll kill Sirulf. They go to 5. Finally shipping me that 88 pounds of venison. Yeah, I was figuring it was, it was getting too old. So I was like, you know what? It's probably about time I give this to Mossy Beard. Wow, I cannot believe he didn't hit one land off the top four. It's like kind of hilarious. Like, I hope we hit a land next turn so we can play Binding and Priest, or I guess that's it, really. We could also play Demon, Demon Bolt and Priest, but that seems worse, so. All right, like that. So we can play this, and then we can play Priest as well. I think we actually kill the Helm, and then we leave them with a 2-2, which seems much better. Um, priest as well. Five, yeah. That's a 5-8, boy. I mean, I'm sure you're just going to go... Starnheim unleashed for three angels. Play a land. So I bought two loudspeakers recently. Two Klipsch 
loudspeakers, one of them had a little bit of a, uh, a marring on the veneer. So I was like, can I get another one? So I just sent one of them back, and I have the next one coming tomorrow, the replacement, so. Um, one, two, three. So we can go one, two, three. Uh, put this on the white source. <laughs> this guy's gonna be huge. I mean, sure, just because it's like putting all my eggs in one basket over here on the God God's Hall Guardian. Oh god, I didn't mean to attack with the friggin' priest, but... <laughs> oh man, now they just get to eat it. That was an accident, and now they're gonna penalize me for it by pumping twice. But... Yeah, that was pretty rough. Well, I guess if they're doing this, they're not doing anything else. Yeah. Now I'm wishing I put the second counter on here as well, so at least it would trade, but... We do get to draw a card. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, talk about a fucking shit show of a turn. That sucks. Yep. That was kind of exactly why I didn't want to... Uh... Put all the eggs in the one basket. Yep, this is pretty rough now because now we have like nothing going on. And we're likely not going to draw another turn. This is amazing. I, I feel like that attacking with the one. <sighs> wow. So now they just get to keep their Grim Draugr. Like, I, I really wish I didn't attack with all. That was just a complete mistake. That was not <sighs> intentional. That's frustrating. Maybe they forget about the Narfi? No, that's never going to happen, right? They forget about the Narfi? They have one swamp up? <laughs> what in the earth? <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. But they left one black up, and I'm like, there's no fucking foretell card that calls one black. But isn't, it's like visible in your opponent's hand. Like when they have it, like when it's in their graveyard, it's like visible in the hand, isn't it? Like, what in the earth? I see your throw away the game and I'll raise you, sir. All right. Deal. The funny thing about Starm Starm Starmheim, Un Starmheim Unleashed is that you never want it, like in your hand, right? Like it's like you want to foretell it as soon as possible. A, so then they can't they can't get it out of your hand, and B, because that's the best possible way to play it. Okay, this hand is this hand is something beautiful. You're beautiful, it's true. Upon your face. It was definitely not an on my turn thing. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. -na 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 -na. This is like just a one two that you're just not using the not gonna use the ability for. Okay. <laughs> I guess. James Blunt 420 blaze it. It's only 332, buddy. God, unbelievable. 
It's like you don't know anything about James Blunt. I'm actually going to play Snowfield Sinkhole because it gives us a black source, and we have another red source over here in the mountain. We got a red source in the mountain. I'm probably going to iron work this guy. I don't think this guy's going to draw any cards, but we also need to be taking three every turn, so. It's 420 somewhere. That's true, I guess. Time zones are wild. All these cards seem really mediocre. No offense to their deck, but like... I don't even feel like we're in a showdown of the Scalds right now. Like, it doesn't even feel like that's good. I guess it... No, it is 432 somewhere. That's true. It's never going to be 420 somewhere right now because that's not how that's not how minutes work. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's old Harry. Oh, that's pretty good. Jeez, and he can cast it this turn? What a bunch of baloney. <laughs> Too bad you didn't do that first to deal an extra point. I don't know, man. Seems weird. I'll put green here. La da 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 da. And I'm pretty sure I just trade here. They have Skemfar Elder Hall, which is good against our 3-2. They also have... Uh, that guy gets becomes a 4-4 if they just play two spells, so... Okay, I think we just have to play this now. Like, we're just not drawing anything other than fucking lands here, so... God. So we can play the land next turn, but playing just a tap land here is just better because we can't. <sighs> so we take three, four, five, six, seven. Half of your life total. Meanwhile, we can play a snow covered swamp and play one God's Hall Guardian. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty stupid. Again, like, I feel like this isn't a, an issue of, of our deck. I feel like this is more of an issue of, our, you know, not drawing spells. What are we drawing? We've drawn three spells and one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine lands. I mean, 39. It's a good, it's a good rate. One, two, three, four. So even if we block here, we take seven. Yeah, this is just game. I mean, I guess we can play Packmate just for funsies. So now we can block, block, take four. <sighs> Should have played Frost first, but I wanted to keep all the mana. So we go one, two, three, Frost on this. We pay one, two, three, four. We still only have one mana at that point, so. I don't know. I guess we're not dead. <laughs> oh, they just give that guy menace. Yeah, you're right. Like, they didn't even draw, like, bananas or anything. They drew regular creatures. Pretty unimpressive creatures as well. Like, I mean... Dusk Wielder into Infernal Pet. Skemfar Avenger with no other Berserkers. Like, even Draugr Recruiter isn't that great. Like, it's just a matter of, like, we drew three spells and nine lands. So, what are you going to do? It happens. They could punt. They did forget about Narfi, I guess. Yeah, 
don't know why this took so long. Yep. I mean, I'm vir virtually tapped out, so just give your two guys menace and fucking swing for the fences there. That's going to be the best reward we get during this draft. I'm just going to play it as is. I don't care if we got the double red spell in here, whatever. Stupid magical cards. I hate them. I hate them. I don't. Yeah, what's up? I definitely, I was like, did you forget about the Narfi? And you did. You did. I gotcha. Um, boy, oh boy. I mean, Godsaw Guardian's playable on four if we hit a land. Path literally solves our land problems if we hit a green. I don't hate it. Y'all beautiful, it's true. Yeah, we drew like nine, um, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? We drew nine lands to three spells that game, so... Raven Inspector and a Vintage Border? What a world. Buddy, I'm excited about the path to exile and a Vintage Border. I'm going to actually open that page again as soon as I can find it in my... Maybe I can't find it at all. It's got to be here somewhere, right? Maybe not. Okay. Uh, I think we're just going to go Guardian. No, we can... Yeah, well, let's go Guardian here. I don't care about this 2-2. We don't need another land right now, so we can maybe if we went past Black Source, then we'd be then we'd be in business, huh? But we might want to get a red with it too, so who knows, you know? Okay, see that's a good that's a good hit. I'm going to put it on the island because we already have an island, so. Hey, clues are the best, man, says Tireless Tractor. <laughs> See, that's funny. What? Really? You're just running this out there as a 2-2? Are you mutating onto it? That seems weird. I do not know how to feel about that. Mutating. <laughs> I like that you just said mutating. Mutating. What are you doing? Mutating? Oh no, they're going to disdainful stroke. I walked right into it. I'm stupid. Fuck. I hate it. It does count as vampire. It's literally like a vampire drake or whatever. So, you know. Gotti. I saw y'all Drake in a clouded place. Clouded place? Oh, I get snow covered. Busy boy. 
And this guy. You big mad. I'm not gonna block it. We got six mana. Oh, if we hit any land, we can we can activate our path. We got blue black. Yep, we got it all. I want it all. Well, that's good because you got it all. But I want it now. Nailed it. I want it all. I have to send Katie money for dog food. Hold on. Well, you don't have to hold on, I guess. Send money. <laughs> buy cryptocurrencies. Wow, they let you buy crypto in the actual... Oh, that's wild. Enough time to be alive. Alright, I just need an answer for this 4-7, that's all. Five, six, seven. We have seven mana. All right. Oh boy, I don't want to cast this, but uh, can I deal at three as well? I guess we can cast it next turn. So we have one, two, three. We want to go priest. Ugh, crying out loud. That's our play this turn. Probably Priest. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, it's going to be one away. So we're going to have to Demon Bolt it. Wow, look. Now, the, now this is with all the other cards. Wild. All right. Two, three, four, five. If I can get a second land out here, that'd be cool. Play that thing. Put it on my bear. Okay. You gonna counter this? I don't know why you'd even fucking hesitate. That's kind of ridiculous. This is why we didn't sack first. Just in case you guys were curious. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 
So we can't iron verdict anything, unfortunately. Really? With a priest on board? confused. I don't know what they're going to play here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everybody get in there. The foretold card has an aura effect, so you can tell it apart. I mean, that's true. Oh, boy. Wow. Binding, Cosmic, Cosmos Elixir, and Sorrel's Pack Mate. Three cards in the bin. That's sad. You got it. So they have four power in the air? That seems good. How do I kill you? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, and four? Babe, I'm leaving. So if you have to block this with two, you can go block here, block, block. Take four. That kills your board. So it's gonna be five damage. Alternatively, you can go block here, block here. Three, four, four for that. One, two, three. Um, I don't want to use the white. Oh, I guess I, I guess using the white's fine actually. Also, if they don't block Draugr, we might be able to just kill them. Five, six, seven, eight. We can put, we can put them to one, actually. It's pretty good. Who is this? Who's the blind? Angel. That's only f five damage. I don't understand. Yeah, that's fine. So five, six, seven, eight. Um... Nine. 
did they did they realize the folly of their ways? I mean, I guess they can activate their gates, right? But then we pump for two more, right? Six is nine. That's ten. Okay. Got him. Okay. I don't know if gates is sorcery only. Yeah, it's game two, but like, I mean, we just pump him two more times, so... Definitely not boast. Boast with the most. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to have to hold on. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be... I'll be right here. Oh yeah, we're keeping this for sure. Let's hit a black source. That'd be cool. Hey, foretelling this on three and also keeping a white for it is pretty decent. Look at this guy. Or we can just hit the black source. Bazinga. Bazorples, my dude. Now we got this guy into this guy. Oh, yeah. You can live that dream. Live that dream. Go ahead, live it. I dare you. Pool Hall Guardian. B -b 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 Bad. My guy also has vigilance. No, lifelink. That's the ability. It is a Bazorpals kind of day. It's really nice out, actually. Which is kind of funny, because there's like 8 inches of snow everywhere, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll trade here. The reason I trade so frequently in the, uh, the like, the 4 to 5 color snow decks is because, like... I, I don't care about any of those things. Um... Because you're actually favored in the late game is is my um, is my thank you observation. Oh, what up, garbage Andy? Howdy, my dude. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Why is ring my bell stuck in my head? Does anybody know? Does anybody have any ideas about this? Um. So here's the thing. I kind of just want to Iron Verdict this guy because I don't want to go below 20 life. I want to keep drawing cards. So, like, best of one? <laughs> Buddy, please. That's insulting. That's hurtful that you would say that. Um, oh, we can do this guy too? Oh, man, look at our foretell pile. And we get to draw a card? Fuck. <sighs> this game's over, man. This game's over. Who even wants to... Yeah, you, you did. I mean, I guess they could have, like, plus four, plus four somehow and three white, but I, I don't think so. Okay, stop chasing your tail. I deal with enough of this at home, okay? Uh, yeah, this game's done. 
thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. <laughs> Head on over to twitch.tv slash Frank and be sure to subscribe if you're able. It's a great way to support the channel. If you have Amazon Prime and Twitch, you can connect those accounts and get a free sub every single month to use on your favorite streamer. Hopefully it's me. But make sure you're supporting somebody because it's free. And, and, and if you don't use it, then Bezos just puts that money in his pocket. And come on. Why are you just... I don't understand why you keep playing this. It's like, it's like it's just a dude. You could literally get rid of this. What? I... What? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. What the fuck? I'm so confused. Like, on, on like a fundamental level, I'm having a real hard time here. Oh, are you going to first strike? Nope. Okay. I was like, are you going to first strike block and then iron? Ver nope. Okay. I don't. Oh, God. I'm just, I'm pained. I don't understand. These cards have text, but you're like, you refuse to read them. Thank you guys for watching. One, one, two, not our best record, but you know what? When you, when you only have four sources of mana in your deck uh, for each color, and, and also similarly, you draw nine lands and three spells in some games. Uh, Thank it's you. It's not, it's not going to, it's not, oh, well, here's your pack. Thank you guys for watching. Eric Jardine, I appreciate the resub. Thank you, buddy. You are awesome. I'll see you guys next time.